Yo, what's up guys? I'm Yannick from the Produce School and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a track in the style of Lane 8. Lane 8 is one of my favorite melodic house artists who has a really unique sound with catchy melodies, deep drums and an overall really warm and melodic vibe. I'm going over all the essentials of a melodic house track like creating the melodies, the drums, arrangement, sound design, mixing and so much more. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe and with that being said, let's create a melodic house track. All the sounds that I'm using in this video come from our latest pack Aura which is the ultimate melodic house producer pack including serum presets, project files, samples and so much more. And if you want to find more information about the pack and support it then use the link in the description which goes to our website theproducerschool.com or you can click the link over here. For this lane 8 style track I already selected a bunch of samples that I want to work with as well as some serum presets from our pack Aura like this lead sound or uh, this bass. I already had some thoughts about what I want to use in this track. For instance this synth loop which is included in our Aura pack. Really typical late 8 style um, like synth chord loop which sounds like this. The MIDI of this loop is also available, um, however I think it sounds just right with this synth. Um, so I just want to leave it like this, maybe later on we can use the MIDI that you can see over here um, if we want to change some things. But for now let's start working with this synth loop. Lane 8 also likes to use some vocals in his tracks, um, so that's what I'm going to do as well to fill up some space and just uh, let the vocal on top of the track. Um, for that, I'll be using the Focus Vocal, which is included in our pack Illusion. Um, it sounds like this. This is just a dry vocal. But ever since we have shed a cover, my focus is you. Love. So this is the part that I want to use. I'm going to remove the whole verse. Only the chorus part will be used um, in the track. And I think we have to stretch it because it's not in the right BPM. So this vocal is in 1 on 23. Set to 1 on 23, the project BPM. Then hit stretch and then put it back up to 1 on 24. My focus is you. My focus is you. Uh, my focus is you. My my Just correcting the timing. My, my focus is you. My focus is you, love. It's no hard. And as you can hear, this sounds really bad, and it's because it's not in key. Let's pitch it up so it's in key. Uh, we have to go up a few semitones. My focus is you, love. It's no hard to choose, love. So four semitones will be enough. So new, love. But now it sounds a little bit chipmunky. So to work around that, I'm going to set the mode to Stretch Pro and decrease the form and shifting. My focus is you. Love. My focus is you. Let's set it to around 200. My focus is you. Love. That's a little bit better. It's no hard to choose. Love. It'll feel so new. Copy this loop. Love. You're pulling me through. Alright, that's a starting point for the track. Um, let me just put some quick effects on the vocal. Uh, let's add an EQ. This vocal is basically mixed already, so we don't have to do a lot, but add an EQ. My focus is you, love. A delay, just really simple. On a fourth delay. My focus is you, love. It's no hard to choose, love. It'll feel so new, love. And a reverb that will do the job. My focus is you, love. 
It's not hard to choose. Make sure to remove the low end of the reverb. It'll feel so new. You're pulling me through. I swear that it's true. It already sounds a little bit better. Um, let's also put the synth loop into a mixer channel using Control L or Command L. And let's also mix this one. It has some quite nice low and mid frequencies, but I'm going to remove a bunch of that because there will be a bass that's covering those frequencies. So let's cut around until 80 hertz or 100 hertz. Something like this and boost a little bit of that high mid. Let's also add a delay with Echo Boy, a really cool delay plugin by Sound Toys. Just scrolling to some presets. This one actually sounds cool. I think we can work with this and then add an EQ or a reverb maybe give it some room I swear that it's true. let's cut the vocal right here because I'm not going to use any other parts of the vocal and let's also add this atmospheric ambient sound which is this one I think sounds like this this is also a thing that you can hear in a lot of Lane 8 or Melodic House tracks in general. Those nice droney atmospheric sounds. You're me through. I swear that it's true. Put the volume down. You, Just adds this nice dreamy and warm vibe to the track. Um, put it into a mixer channel. EQ it a bit. Like so. Add some reverb to put it more in the background of the track. Like a really big one, go down the dry level and increase the wet level. Quite some decay time. I think this could work. Let's decrease the reverb of the course a little bit. It's better. Now let's introduce a baseline which we can use in the breakdown as well as the drop of the track. Um, I'm going to use this bass called After. Just a really simple yet effective uh, saw bass which has some velocity modulations, a little bit of delay as well. Let's just follow the bass notes of the chords which are I think F, D and A. And we can also follow the rhythm, I think, of the synth loop. Maybe just drag in the MIDI of it and then remove the chords. So like this. And then remove this part. Put it up an octave. Make it legato. And let's also remove the velocity changes. Just a warm and deep bass sound. Just the bass shouldn't be like too prominent in the mix or My focus sound of it. Is you, love. It's not hard to choose. Love. Sounds cool. It'll feel so new. Love. You're pulling me through. I swear that it's true. My focus is you. Alright, so I think the basic idea of the track is there. Um, this will be more like the breakdown and I want to start working on an ID for the drop and I'll be using the bass and the synth loop from the breakdown and put it into a drop which can be here and then this part over here um, there's space for like a builder part let's introduce a kick drum lane 8 likes to use kicks that are like not too punchy or too hard in the mix um, but more like this really deep and solid kick drums. Uh, like this one, kick two from or aura pack. 
has a nice click to the sound, but not too much. Like really solid and deep punch. Put it here. And let's put it in a mixer channel so we can see how loud it is. Let's aim for like minus 6 dB. And let's also put an EQ on it to remove a little bit more of those high frequencies of the kick. Something like that. We also should not forget about mixing the bass line. So let's go into that serum, link it to a mixer channel, and then let's apply an EQ to remove a bit of that high end. Something like that. And then I want to add a kickstart for side chaining. Just really basic with this second uh, chain. Lower down the volume of it. Let's put the volume of the synth loop a little bit down. I shouldn't forget to add a kickstart on the synth loop as well. A little bit less of a mix. I think I think this is good enough, at least for now. Um, I want to introduce a melody, which I'm going to do with this sound. It's a lead called Lost. Lane 8 likes to use melodies that are kind of repetitive, but change over time, which are like almost ARP type of melodies. And let's try some things. Let's put this pattern here. This is already something that could work. Let's try something. That could work. Maybe repeat this a few times. Let's see. And then it should start before the drop, so like this. Then maybe go up here. this again let's put this lead sound into a mixer channel and let's remove the low frequencies of it with a basic EQ like this some reverb to it there is already a delay in serum i think and just to add some room i'm going to add this reverb and let's add a kick start for side chaining This lead sound has velocity modulation to it and with that we can create some interesting patterns with the velocity over here because then we can open up the cutoff with the midi velocity and create some nice patterns
that melody is set. Um, I'm going to automate the cutoff later on in the track during the arrangement. Um, but now let's focus on the drums. Let's repeat this so we have more space to work with during a full drop. Let's remove these last four kicks here so there's space for a transition. And then here the second part of the drop can start. I want to introduce a head. So I have this head loop. But I only want to use the actual head and not the like the second hit. So I'm just going to cut it like this. I think that should work. Let's put it in a mixer channel and add a little bit of reverb and EQ. And a really small room reverb with a short decay time. use a few loops to make my life a little bit easier like this shaker loop let's put it in a mixer channel and add a bit of sidechain to get that pumping like effect lower down the volume And another loop, which is this top loop uh, with a clap and some toms. Could work well. Just low in volume. And let's add this snare. Uh, which is also something that you can hear in a lot of Lane 8 tracks. Uh, he likes to use a snare on the second and fourth um, beat. Just like. Let's add some reverb to the snare because right now it sounds a little bit like too dry. Maybe an EQ boost. And I'm going to use a Valhalla room, which is something that I really like to use on snares. It's a low wet level. Something like this. Maybe it's cool to add a snare over here. For some variation, I'm going to layer the snare with a clap, but not for like every snare, but every like second snare. So let's go for a clap. Maybe this one. One is better. And then put a bunch of reverb on it. So it would have this nice reverb tail. Use a Valhalla room. Something like this. And this kind of adds an accent on the second snare.
maybe pan it a bit to the left for some more stereo information. I think the main ID of this track is ready. Now let's start working a bit more on the arrangement and FX to make this track sound like one piece. Let's start with some effects like downlifters to give the drop a little bit more impact. And let's put these down here. Put the volume down. Some sidechain works well on a downlifter like this. Give it the pumping, typical EDM effect. it like a little bit more smooth and let's add an uplifter which can use for transitions this one I think I want to add some reverb to it to make it last a little bit longer make the transition more smooth like this I think that works well let's lower down the volume for the arrangement of the breakdown I want to start with just um, the synth loop over here there's still sidechain on the synth loop but there's no kick playing so that wouldn't make sense um, that's why I'm going to create an automation clip for the level of the kickstart. So lower it down. And then when the vocal hits, I want to introduce a small kick. My focus is you. So that's uh, where the sidechain needs to be on. Um, let's go for that kick. It's kick two, but then uh, made a little bit shorter. So the quick fade out is put to 100% which um, makes it shorter and give it less low end. And the full kick like this will be used later in the breakdown. Um, but I'm going to start with this kick. There's still quite some bass information um, because of the bass, of course. And let's add a high pass filter to remove some of that bass frequencies and uh, bring it in later in the breakdown. Create an automation clip for band one. Something like this. We have still this mid bass, but the full low and sub frequencies are not there yet. Then they will be introduced here. And this is where the full kick also should be put that right here let's also introduce the head here maybe the shaker as well Focus is you. But I want to keep this really simple um, because the vocal is already covering a big part of this. So I don't want to go too complicated with everything. Let's add this downlifter here. And it's an uplifter for the transition. this here and let's also introduce an ambient sound which is this one which is like a recording of a rain outside which can give some character and uh, warm to your track just put it low like in volume and 
this sound will just play throughout the whole track in the background. Add this um, reverse vocal, which can also work in the transition part. Already in the right key. Um, going to add a reverb on it. A really big one, just like we did with the uplifter. And let's also add a panomatic, um, which will pan it to left and right. Really simple plugin, but useful. In Ableton, it's called Auto Pan, even better. Just put the amount a little bit lower. This makes it go from left to right. Every transition, there will be this In a build-up, there will be no vocal playing, but the melody of the drop will be introduced. Will be here. And I'm going to filter it, and the synth loop will be there as well. The mix of the kickstart of the chords should be zero. Add an uplifter, like a bigger one. And then one beat before the drop hits, everything should go silent. So remove all of this here. And then maybe add like a snare. Make it a little bit louder. And maybe add more reverb to it, um, putting it into a new channel. Let's add a bunch of reverb. Something like this maybe. Think that could work. Um, let's add this drum fill, really basic snare 909. Snare. And also, this impact in the breakdown here to add some dramatic. Lower down the volume. And now let's filter some elements, um, like the synth loop. I think this can be filtered in during um, the breakdown or the intro. I'm going to use an EQ with a simple um, low pass filter and make an automation for that. Let's make it like come in gradually. Now you can really hear the atmospheric sounds. And then during the build up, it should be filtered down again. Maybe even during the first part of the drop, filter it, it down a little bit. So there will be more space for the main melody. And then the second part of the drop, it will be fully opened. Like this. Like I said earlier, I'm going to automate the cutoff of this lead. Um, 
you can do this by just moving the cutoff and then going to tools, last tweaked, and then create an automation clip right here. And let's see how we can make that sound. down here and open it up during the second part of the drop Something like that. Um, the kickstart is also on. We have to automate that. So it should be off during the build up. We can also try to add an endless small effect on the lead. So it fades out a little bit. Um, right here. Let's automate the intensity knob, which is a common trick. Build ups. And let's do the same thing for these chords just to make a Quick and easy build up, uh, create an automation clip. And the last thing I want to do is create a kind of outro for the track or the first drop, just copying this part over here without the main melody. And then I want to introduce the vocal uh, back again. So just this part should work. And that's it for this Lane 8 style track. I think the idea is pretty cool, definitely worth finishing, um, but it needs a lot more work. Um, but this is what I made during this video. I hope you guys like it and here is it one more time.
I hope you guys learned a thing or two watching this video. Um, if you have any questions about this track or things I did in this video, then feel free to drop a comment and I will try to get back to you on there and help you with your productions. Um, for now, I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.